smirkantine sentence for strangling the teacher with a rope and slicing her wrist. I mean, if you look at this teen's face, you can't tell me that there's not evil in this world. Welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here. Politicalbombshow.com. Click on Political Bomb Show Store or click on Support Us and help the channel out that way. This is just unadulterated evil. Look at the face of this teen. Look at his face. I mean, evil says, Hey, I'm sorry. Smirking teen sentence for strangling teacher with a rope and slicing her wrist, attempted sexual assault. A Las Vegas student who violently assaulted his teacher in 2022 was sentenced to a minimum of 16 years in prison. That's not enough. He's evil. He is obviously he's going to do it again or worse. Look, Just look at him. According to the Las Vegas Review Journal, 17-year-old Jonathan Elterio Martinez Garcia pleaded guilty Wednesday to attempted murder, attempted sexual assault, and battery with the use of a deadly weapon causing significant bodily harm. Doing sentencing, Martinez Garcia, 17, reportedly snared while the court heard chilling details of how he maliciously planned an attack on his teacher at El Torado High School in April 2022. According to the testimony, the defendant approached the teacher after class pretending to discuss his grades. When she turned her back, Martinez attempted to strangle her with a rope or string, the Daily Mail reports. He then forcefully slammed her head against the table, rendering her unconscious. When the victim regained consciousness, she discovered her pants and underwear had been forcibly removed. Martinez then poured a substance over her, threatening to set her on fire before pushing a bookshelf onto her and sitting on it. The victim shared an impact statement in court telling the judge that she thought death was imminent while being attacked. She described the ordeal as leaving her mentally and physically imprisoned with visible bruise, bruises covering her body. It only makes sense that he too should be in prison for as long as possible. The teacher who only identified herself as said in the court. According to CBS, CBS 8, the defendant's lawyer, Tyler Gaston, informed the judge that his client's conduct resulted from the side effects even as as an uh, asthma medication he had taken asthma medication makes you do this the medication led to mood swings night terrors and hallucinations hallucinations the attorney said there's no behavior there's no behavior we're trying to alter or correct here because the issue is resolved. He's off, what's the name of this medication? Montelulas, Montelucas. I'm curious if this medication actually does do all these things. 
let's ask my phone here because I, I don't know if it actually does or not but I'm gonna type it in the side effects of this drug what are side effects of M O N. Yep, it came up. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what it says here. So, common side effects of Monte Montel locus include upper respiratory infection, fever, headache, sore throat, cough, stomach pain, diarrhea, air ache or air infection flu, runny nose, and sinus infection. So you see, there's nothing there that talks about mood swings at all. I think it's just a ploy to get him a light sentence, lighter sentence. Yeah, there's nothing there that says that. So, I mean, again, if you look at this boy's face, he looks like, like he looks e pure evil. I don't know how else to put I can't put it nicely. Anyway, so to dress up a prison sentence as punishment is just vengeance. It doesn't change a thing for anybody. The judge said there is no excuse to attack an educator before handling down sentencing. I'm glad that the judge just dismissed it. But I... It's pure evil. I, I don't... There's nothing that was uh, sane about this person. This person was sick. And sick, I don't mean by sick because of a drug. I mean sick, uh, evil with evilness. It was sick with evilness. So there definitely the right call was made. If you agree, won't you give a thumbs up? If you disagree, give a thumbs up anyway. Anyway, I will see you in the next one.